Welcome back to the channel. Today I'm going to show you how to hook your wideband up to HP tuners so that you can data log AFR without the Pro Feature Set. Now I can't take much credit to this. Uh, Jerry's Budget Builds, he left me a comment with a link to a Guilt Rope Garage video about hooking serial widebands up without using the Pro Feature Set or the Expander Hub. So I'll show you what I did and how it worked. I've got to innovate in this Jeep. And to my knowledge, as long as you have a serial out, any wideband can do this. I mean, I'm not exactly sure. I just know from my experience of what I did today, this has an out, and it comes with this cable to serial. And then I just used a serial to USB. I got this at uh, Best Buy, and a USB cable right into the computer. And this is my HP tuners plugged right in. Now the Goat Rope Garage had a USB hub, so he had both of these plugged into a hub and then one cable going in. I think. He may have had it adapted to serial. I don't know. He didn't really get that up close to it. But, and this worked. So now I'm going to switch to the computer and show you what settings I had to play with. Right, this might get a, li a little bit shaky. I like doing the screen capture on the laptop better, but there'll be a menu here and you won't be able to see it. Did the same thing in my last video, where I was just moving a mouse and you couldn't see what I was talking about. So I've got it connected to the Jeep. I've got the key on. And now what we're going to do is, we're not scanning. We're going to go over here. And then we're going to go down to Serial Port. And I'm going to choose my Innovate, because that's what I have. And we're going to click this. And there it is. And then if we start scanning, there we are. The engine's not running, so it is maxed out. It's 22.4. While it's running, it is right. I'll fire it up to show you that. It's probably going to have to heat again. Yep, crazy number because it's going to start heating the O2 sensor. I'm going to look into some software and watch some videos to figure out how I can do captures with the laptop without those weird problems, but 10.3-ish, right in that range, bouncing around just like this thing is. 9, 9, 10.1. Alright, so that works, but we don't have anything here, so I don't know if we have to stop it. I'll probably have to. We'll find out. We'll try it. So now we're in here, what I did was click this and just go default diagnostic O2 AFR and then it'll show up down here and then I move this up, this doesn't matter where it's at, but where it says parameter, air fuel ratio 1. I left that where it was and then I went in here, where'd it go, serial port, and then I went to innovate. I have. I click this. You can go in here and put custom stuff, but yes, sounds good. Now, I had a problem with uh, let's see, the max value, probably because lambda, that's why it's 1.5, so it, it will it would work like this. I it's not I don't have anything against lambda. I'm just not comfortable with it yet. There's no it's no real big deal. So I changed this to like 20. back out and where are you at oh I haven't added it in here yeah it's right there this purple line right there I'm gonna change it to something easier to see all right so we want to make it easier to see here's our color quit doing that we'll make it green all right There we go. Here's our number, and here's our... There's our air fuel. This thing is fat at a medium temperatures, but now that I actually can data log AFR, I can start addressing those issues. 
this is just a short video. I hope that helps some people. I mean, save me a lot of money. Now, you don't have to go buy that just for that. Now, all the other functions it can do and the amount of analog inputs, if you need all those, you're, you're probably going to need that. But I don't. I'm not worried about all that. We're not getting super fancy with uh, exhaust gas temperatures and other crap. So, AFR is good enough for me. But, thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe.